Starting lineups for today. First off for Chattanooga, 7-3-1, leading the team in the East. First off for the defenders. Lone defender, number five, Frankie Martinez. And then there's six midfielders for Chattanooga. Number two is Tate Robertson. Number seven, Ian Ciro. Number eight, Colin Stripling. Number 17 is Chris Bermudez. Number tw number th number 30 is Alex Hernandez. And number 33, Alex McGrath. McGrath wearing the captain's armband. And for the three forwards, Brett Jones, number 20. Taylor Gray, number 22. Marcus Nagelstad, number 99. Nagelstad, the center forward for Chattanooga. Between the pipes today for Chattanooga is Alec Reddington, 1-0-0 on the season. Now for Flower City Union, 3-2-12, and 12, looking to rebound. First off, the three defenders, number two, Ben Watson, number five, Nikai Point, and number 20, Dylan Evandy, in his first start with Flower City. For the five midfielders, number three, Alex Ainskoff, number eight, Jordan Saley, number 10, Giancarlo Conias Harkin, number nine, Sunil Veracone, and number 23, Lucas Fernandez. Finally, for the two forwards here, number nine, Arion Sobers Asu, number 42, Dre Dees. In the net tonight for Flower City is number 13, Steven Ortiz. Officials for today's contest, Christian Centeno is the referee. The line judges are Douglas Clayton and Antonio Triana. And the fourth official working the clocks and the substitutions is Robert Dunham. Of course, we are set to go first match here at home since June 16th. Rather, June 18th. First of two home matches for the month of July for Flower City. Of course, the second matchup will be their Nista Independent Cup match in the Northeast region. We'll talk about that later on. Again, so glad you could join us on this fine July 16th. The drums are playing on the left side of the pitch from the defenders of the garden. They got their knight in shining armor all set to go. The fans are here. A great crowd has turned out tonight in the stands and in the suites. Flower City with the lilac purple jerseys. They win the kickoff to begin action. We'll go right to left. Chattanooga wearing the sky blue uniforms with the white shor shorts. They'll go left to right. Set to go as Arion Sobers Asu kicks it off and we're underway from Rochester. Sobers Asu wasting no time trying to get it back to Fernandez and it gets cleared away. Nakai to point tries to reset. Alex Ainskoff kicks one up looking for Sobers Asu, but that's headed off by the right back in Tate Robertson. Again, Flower City Union has been on, was on a two-game draw streak against Albion, San Diego, and Michigan Stars. That was their first streak with points on the season. However, though, no goals in the last two games. Nil-nil to Michigan Stars and nil-four to the Syracuse Pulse. Nice sliding move on the play as that was Watson who was trying to set up Arion Sobers or Sue back to... Sobers or Sue off of Konyas Harkin as Chattanooga tries to clear it away, but they cannot. Konyas Harkin gives it right back. Ainskoff looking. Fernandez is on side, looking to strike first, gets around one, and a nice save to start things off for Alec Reddington. Big offensive attack coming from Lucas Fernandez. When the last time he was here at the Rochester Community Sports Complex in a NISA matchup, he had the equalizer in the 90th minute against Albion San Diego. As for Chattanooga, once again, one of the hottest teams in this league at the moment. Haven't lost since Flower City at, at home against Flower City, I should say. Haven't lost since April 30th. 
They are tied for the most goals this season with 24. All of their wins since April 30th, with the exception of one contest, have been multi-goal victories. Of course, minus those two draws, there was also a 2-1 win at Maryland on May 7th. DePoint racing after it, going one-on-one -on -one with Brett Jones, as that's knocked away by Steven Ortiz. Dre D's trying to set something up back to Coney Oshar Keen. To point off the quick touch, but it's intercepted. The midfielders look to do some work. Ian Ciro. Playing right midfield today. Splits the double. Has to reset back to Robertson. Chattanooga playing some 4-3-3 today. For their formation. Aspen looks for it for Flower City to begin this evening, going 3-1-4-2. The reset coming there once again. Knocked back into FCU territory by Colin Stripling. Sunio Veracone was trying to race after it. Out of bounds off of him. He was the lone goal scorer against Chattanooga in the 1 5 loss. Quick touch from Veracone to Ainscoff. And so, just as we thought in the opening minutes, Flower City Union was putting big pressure. Now you're seeing it off of Chattanooga. Konias Harkeen. Sets up Sobers of Sioux. Moving it over to Sunio Veracone. And Dre Dees may have to set a cross up. Playing some one on one against Tate Robertson. Gets it to Ain gets me gets it to Sailing while back to Nikita Point. So three straight back passes. And Nikita Point calling out the play for the Union. Watson trying to set up Sobers to Sue. The route, though, cut off. Frankie Martinez was there. Big setup coming. Brett Jones. May want Gray or Nagelstad. Jones takes it over to Nagelstad, who has been hot all season long. Back to zero. Trying to get it inside the 18. Martinez. Right back to Stripling. Big man-on-man -man pressure. Konias Harkin with a big pick. Dee's trying to set up Sobers of Sioux. We'll see if this is onside. And it looks good. May have to set a cross play up here. Takes it back. Ainscoff with it. May have to go deep. No. Takes it to Drady's instead. Fakes it. Ooh, nice back pass to Alex Ainscoff. Who goes for the cross? That's deflected off of Robertson. Doesn't cross the goal stripe, and Alec Reddington picks it up. Let's talk about Alec Reddington while we are at it. Entering the season 12-11 and 11 in 27 games with Chattanooga, including 11 clean sheets from his last four wins of 2021. Back and forth, one-on-one -on -one between DePoint and Brett Jones. There's Nagelstad. That gets off of Saline. Zero there as well. Taking it back. That's Alex Hernandez. Looking for Jones. And offside is ruled. So glad you could join us on 11 Sports and Rock Sports Network. Let us know where you're from and who you're rooting for in the chat below. So far, good start for both teams. Flower City with the lone shot that's been off target here as we're in the seventh minute of play. Fans, you may have missed it, but go behind the scenes of Flower City Union with their new documentary of Beyond the Pitch. That was aired on 13 Wham! last Wednesday. 
Check it out on the YouTube page at Flower City Union. Defense tries to set with Frankie Martinez, but that's picked off. Ben Watson was there on it. Ainscoff getting double team. He gets tripped up and a foul against Nagelstad. Once again, we talk about Marcus Nagelstad. Number one in goals with 10. Had the haul against FCU on May 21st. For the offense, look at a strike first. Dre Dees, though, is double teamed. That gets deflected off of Robertson. He gets tripped up. Robertson, though, with the pick. No foul. Nagelstad, though, trying to waste no time. Vericone nearly gets there on the interception. Ainscoff off his touch, puts Nagelstad down to his back. Referee Christian Centeno makes sure he's okay. But from the looks of it, that he had the win knocked out of him. Goals in seven of the last eight games for Marcus. Also tied for second in assists with three on the year. So Chattanooga ball. Hernandez racing after it along with Ainscoff. Gets to Taylor Gray as he tries to find Ciro. And we'll see what this setup is like. Taken back to Gray. Off his quick touch. Looking for Bermudez. Again, Ben Watts on the interception. Tries to keep it in bounds. He can't. Chattanooga undefeated on the road. Only four wins and a, a draw. So I should say unbeaten. Both Konios, Harkin, and Sobers of Sioux putting some big pressure on. Robertson trying to get around Fernandez. Sobers of Sioux nearly got there on the interception, was just inches off of it. And a good play from Ian Ciro to just give it right back to the goalkeeper for a couple of seconds. Hernandez, back to Stripling. Robertson took that off of Stripling and foul issued. Flower City Union with two additions to their roster ever since last month. First off, the player that's starting, Dylan Evandy, playing at right center back today. Previously with New Jersey Alliance, a Nisa Nation team. Talking with Colton Bly about it earlier today. Strong, intelligent cornerback. And then also you may recognize this name from earlier in the year, Noah Cavanaugh, number 71, previously with the Michigan Stars. A versatile left-footed player. He's got lots of tools. Very dangerous. So it can be a big factor. Kavanaugh is one of the substitutions today. And expected to be used when we get to the second half of today's match. Sobers of Sue back to Watson. Ainscoff off of him. What does the point do? Tries to chip it up to Watson, but can't do anything about that. Gray trying to get there in time, but has to deal with the pressure from Jordan Saline. And back to Ortiz. And did not move it forward. Dees kept it in bounds. Nope, he did not. It's out of bounds and off of his foot. Big chances for Chattanooga to get on the board early. Robertson throws it in. Gets there off of Brett Jones. 
Robertson against the point. Jones trying to get to Robertson. Sets a cross off, but that is denied. And we'll get our first corner of the day. And so taking this corner kick. We'll wait to confirm who to set this up. And this is uh, Alex McGrath, who's wearing the captain's armband for Chattanooga. Actually, he's just calling the play out. They take it back. Robertson. Chips one deep. Crossed off of the point. Cleared from back. Bermudez. And Stripling has to reset the play. A screen from Hernandez. Zero. That goes off and picked up by Ortiz. Good start to today at the moment from Flower City, unlike their last contest against Chattanooga when Nagelstad was doing damage. Of course, not far into this first half already in the 14th minute. But in the third, in 38 minutes of play, last time out, a hat trick from Nagelstad. Zero tried to get there. And now Sobers a Sioux racing after it. He got tripped up. That's a clean tackle that came from just confirming on the play from Alex McGrath. Now a chance on side for Fernandez. Big save for Reddington. The crowd was hyped on that play. A good shot from Fernandez. But Ruddington with just a big one-handed save. And now Brett Jones may have something to say about that. But to point, skied it up back to Jones as he got tripped up big time. No foul, though, on the play. Marcus Nagelstad tries the cross out. The finish, no, not from Zero. Bermudez takes it to McGrath. Zero looking on the play, and defense big as Hernandez got shut down big time from the, new, from the newbie in Dylan Evandy. The crowd is hyped here at the Rochester Community Sports Complex. They want something big to happen. Bermudez wants to make them silent. That's off of the point, though. Kept inside, though, and cleared away by Nakai Point. He's off to a good start on defense today. McGrath setting up Jones. Jones still there. Nagelstad, but he's cut off by Dre Dees. DePoint shuts that down. Out of bounds and a throw in for Chattanooga. Flower City right now hanging on for dear life to try and prevent the first goal from being scored at the moment. Robertson back to Jones. Jones moving forward, big pressure. He's tripped up, and this could be a penalty kick. And we're getting our first penalty today from the looks of it. And so we'll confirm the setup here. I think this is Nagelstad once again. And what did the haul lead to? That would lead to a penalty kick. So Flower City hanging on here in the 17th minute. Nagelstad with a chance to get his 11th goal of the season. And a strike first for Chattanooga. It's Nagelstad against Ortiz. The crowd wants it. They want a big save from Ortiz. Whistle. Nagelstad. Strike. Bullseye. And Marcus Nagelstad. Strikes first for Chattanooga in the 17th off of, off of a penalty kick. 
11th goal of the season. Let's look at the replay and show you once again. Here it was. You know, Ortiz set it up. He, he went to the right area. But just the reaction just wasn't there in time, if, if you understand what I'm saying. So Nagelstag with his 11th goal on the year, 25 points this season. Gives him goals in eight of the last nine games. And right now, nobody can stop him in leading for the Golden Boot Award this season. So it's nil one in the 18th minute. So Flower City just trying to answer back. Ortiz just has to let that go. And it's Chattanooga ball. Bermuda is trying to take it back to McGrath. How can Robins, Robertson set this up? Off of Gray. Zero trying to get there. He stumbled for a split second. Bermuda chips one. Out of bounds. Jones trying to race after it, and it leads to a goal kick for Steven Ortiz. Flower City Union on Rock Sports Network is brought to you by Bob Johnson Auto Group. Carrying 12 different auto manufacturers from Chevy to Ford to GMC and many more in 24 locations throughout the state. Choose from thousands of vehicles in stock. Check them out online at bobjohnsonautogroup.com to find a location near you. Down goes Veracone with a foul against the captain in McGrath. Dre Dees, man, nice play from Taylor Gray to force Dees on the touch. Clean passing at the moment for Chattanooga. Robertson off of him. Gray was struggling. Veracone on the interception. Konios Harkin off the quick touch. Ainskoff struggling to reach there. Here comes Watson. May set the cross up. Takes it instead. Fernandez. Fernandez struggling. And that's off of the left back in Bermudez. Fernandez gets around one from the corner. Sobers and Sue cannot finish it. Rebounded by Dre Dees. Fakes one. Takes one from the ground off of Konios Harkeen. Nothing. Zero says nah. -uh. And the finish on the clear in front from Robertson. It is still a throw in for the Union. Clean pass to Dees to Veracone, back to Dees. But he struggled there, Ivandi, with that. Nice fake from Veracone off of Gray. Gray doesn't like that move. He wants to get that interception again. Ivandi looking for Sobers or Sue. This is onside. He gets cut off, though, and no fouls on the play. That gets cleared back again. That time, McGrath was on the clear for the Englishman. Dees with it. Has to deal with Robertson first. Fakes it up, and some contact from Sobers or Sue against Frankie Martinez. 
We do have a player down inside the box. And that looks like just a win knockout shot. That was Stripling that was down, who has an assist on the year against Bay Cities. So still Chattanooga ball at the moment. As they continue play. Chattanooga being patient at the moment. May have been too patient. Vericone on the interception. Sobers the Sioux. Nearly looked for a breakaway. Vericone with it. He's got to deal with two, though. Gets around both of them, though, but is stuck in a difficult position and a goal kick. When he moved back just near the goal line, that was a tough position for him to handle. He would have had to set a cross play up, but unfortunately nothing came there. Jones wants it, not. Nearly a collision of heads there between Fernandez and Stripling. Bermudez. Fakes the forward and takes it back. Defense dealing with a lot of pressure. Coney Oshar keen to Watson. And that's picked off. Nagelstad looking for his second today. Tripped up by the point. And it looks like no penalty. It was just a point with some good defense there. But that was a wide open chance for Nagelstad to get his second of the game inside the 25th minute. Robertson to Gray. Can he get the center forward in Nagelstad? Instead, he finds Cyril back to Gray. Robertson to Cyril. He wants to set a cross up. That's across the goal line, though. Goal kick for the Union. Folks, the Nisa Independent Cup is underway. Nine regions from 36 teams go at it in a region round tur robin tournament featuring Nisa and Nisa Nation teams along with affiliates. For more, go to nisaofficial.com forward slash IND Cup. Here's your update in the Independent Cup at the moment. We'll look at or Northeast first at the moment. And New Jersey Alliance 13 with 13 points, I should say, with one and one on the year. New York Contra United second with five points. They're 0 1 0. Steel Pulse FC is third. They're 0 0 and 1. Winner of that round, Robin Turman, takes on Flower City a week from tomorrow. We'll look at the Southeast in just a moment. Watson was blocked, still in bounds. That's Ainscoff with it. Trying to set Watson up. The fans want something. You can tell the flares are going. Once again. Gets cleared away by Jones. Here's Tanner Gray. Taylor Gray, rather. He's got the breakaway. Sets it up. Big save from Ortiz. Taylor Gray with a wild breakaway. 
was onside. Looking to make it a nil two game, but did not finish it. Ortiz was there with better defense. I don't think Kunias Harkin expected that. Foul against Ciro. So free kick here from Flower City. They will start off possession of it. Barracone to set up the indirect free kick. Fans want an equalizer here. Barracone looking on the setup here. Had it off and wide. Corner kick coming. Off of one of the backs. That was off of Stripling. First corner today for Flower City coming up. And Veracom will take the corner this time. Here's the setup. Had it off. That's Skyd. Who's got that? Bounces off of the turf. Cleared away by Gray. Ainscoff off the deep rebound, but just wide. So goal kick for Chattanooga. Let's look at the Southeast Independent Cup standings at the moment. It's Miami Beach CF currently with 10 points leading. They're 1-0-1 at the moment. Club de Lion FC second with 8, 1-0-0. And Brevard Fire SC one point at the moment. They're 0-0-1. Again, winner takes on Chattanooga FC. That is taking place on July 23rd, so next Saturday. We've got a break at the moment, so we'll step aside from the action in the 30th minute. It's nil one Chattanooga after a Nagostad penalty kick. Stay with us. At John Betlam, nothing's more important than your comfort. So if you ever have any problems with your air conditioning, call us. Day or night, weekends, holidays, anytime, we're ready to help. We'll be there fast, and we repair carrier or any other brand heating and AC system. And if you ever need to replace your system, we'll help you save. If you need help with your AC, Turn to the experts at John Bethlehem. Call 271 8888. John Bethlehem Heating and Cooling. The Wings are home this weekend. Friday has a cap giveaway, fireworks, and an appearance by Rookie of the Year star Thomas Ian Nicholas. Saturday features an RPO concert and fireworks. Sunday features a beach towel giveaway, and kids can run the bases. For tickets, visit redwingsbaseball.com. Daddy had surgery and his pain was put to ease. Let him more physical therapy. Tickets are available for Flower City Union games from season tickets to a single match that starts at $10. Log on to flowercityunion.com for more details. All tickets will be using e-tickets, so purchase your tickets online prior to the match and present your ticket via cell phone or printed file that's sent through the email. So in the 31st minute, nil one Chattanooga FC. Marty Sakala with you. We're so glad you could join us for today's matchup. Again, if you have just joined us, it is nil one. Penalty kick was scored earlier in the 18th minute by Marcus Nagelstad, who continues to lead his way in the Golden Boot category. 11 goals on the season from him. Flower City better on the offense side, 3-1 to one on shots that are off target. Each team one corner kick in this matchup. Chattanooga, though, the more aggressive team. They've committed three fouls to one from the Union. Two-game road trip for Chattanooga here. Hang on. Sorry, Osus. Interception. Oh, what a save. Oh my goodness! What a shutdown there! Was that Stripling, I want to say, or Martinez? That was Martinez. Oh my goodness! 
Martinez just saved Chattanooga from a Sober Zasu finish. Had it off. Deploy tried to finish there, and it's cleared away by Nagelstad. Oh, my goodness. A big mistake from the defensive backs. Sober Zasu is open. He's got a chance to tie this game. It was there, and somehow Martinez just shut things down. Here comes Nagelstad to make it 2-0. What a save again from Ortiz. Gets back into where he was. Off the crossbar for Taylor Gray. Rebound. Fake. Take. Wide and save. And a goal from Nagelstad. 0-2 in the 33rd minute in a wild sequence. Like what we saw back in May. Here was Nagelstag, the fake, the take, second chance, puts it back. So it's 12th goal of the season, make it 27 points on the year, continues to do damage. No assist on the play. It was unassisted for him. And there could be a chance that we got a player down. And a yellow card has been issued. We'll confirm the yellow here, but we do have a player down holding on to his knee. That is Brett Jones, the left striker today. So free kick coming up for Chattanooga. Gray faked it forward. Nagelstad could have a chance at a Hattie. Instead takes it back, still loose inside the box. Nagelstad once again, can he find it? Oh, he did again! The Norwegian! It's unstoppable in the 35th minute this time. His hat trick comes three minutes faster. If we have a goal that was scored from Taylor Gray, we'll confirm. Nope, it's not Nagelstad. It was Alex Hernandez. Apologies there. So it was Alex Hernandez with his first on the year. It, it looked like Nagelstad hit it diagonally in. But instead, it was Hernandez with the deflection just to get a slight touch to finish it. Already nil three and... Here is once again a reason why Chattanooga is the best team in the East at the moment. So we continue on. Alex Hernandez, who was previously, previously went with the Juventus Academy and also North Carolina State, went 2-3-7 and seven last year with NC State. Ah, Sobers of Sue is trying big time. Excuse me, that was Dre Dees that's trying big time to get that interception and to try and score. There was a yellow card that was issued earlier, by the way, that went to Ben Watson in the 34th minute. Throw-in is coming here for Chattanooga FC. Information. 
And we have an offside rule. And so Chattanooga ball. Once again. So once again, if you have just joined us in the 38th minute, it is now nil three from 18th minute penalty kick goal from Marcus Nagelstad to a 33rd minute goal in regulation. Then Hernandez in the 35th minute. Push from Hernandez, puts down Jordan Sailing. Union's ball. So Ortiz launches it. Fernandez can't control it to finish. Dees, nope, out of bounds. Chattanooga throwing. Nagel said he wants that hat trick. If he does score a goal, he'll be the only player with two hat tricks on the year. Again. Only two players with hat tricks this season. It was Marcus Nagelstad against Flower City. And then also Taylor Gray, who had the hat trick against Bay Cities earlier on in one of their contests this season. Robertson sets up Gray. Tries to get around to point. Cuts it in front. Ooh, slip and slide from Robertson. The turf monster strikes again. But Ciro may try to set up a cross. Splits the double with that pass, looking for Gray. And let's see if that's out across the sideline. It is. As Dees was trying to keep it in bounds. Could be a setup for McGrath. Triple teamed. Tripped up down. And a foul against the Union. We'll have a Chattanooga free kick. That was McGrath that was down. He's back up. So McGrath and Ciro at the spot. Indirect free kick situation. As we've got four on five on the far side of the pitch. McGrath fakes to Ciro. Ciro looks for the cross. The finish. No, it was close for Brett Jones. Jones was looking for his second goal today. He scored against, or second goal of the season rather. He scored against Bay Cities. His second season with Chattanooga. Ainscoff tried to keep sprinting on on the dribble. Jones wants to finish this time offside. Just caught Jones offside by about a fraction of an inch. Just under four minutes out from stoppage time. And we should expect at least about two minutes or so due to not just the break it the break, but also the time we had for a couple of players that were down. Nagelstad was one of them earlier on for some examples there. Defense just trying to get out of pressure and set up their midfielders like Dre Dees, for example. Dees 
Watch Sobers a Sue here, just too strong. Still tries to keep it in bounds. And a goal kick. Nice job by the left back on the play in Chris Bermudez. To lead to that goal kick situation. Chattanooga, though, backing up. Konyas Harkeen nearly got the interception there. Robertson. Fernandez. Fernandez, rather. Almost got there. Gray. Who does he set up? About who does Robertson set up? Back to Gray. Throw in coming. Rather be a. F oh, it's Flower City's possession, but rather be a foul against Chattanooga, though. Bermudez trying to get away from Watson, kept in bounds and taken back. And they let it go. Ortiz setting this up. Martinez takes that back to Reddington. Well, Fernandez nearly got the pick there off of Stripling. Sobers of Sioux also wants that back too. Again, for Flower City, they had a good start to the opening half, putting a lot of pressure, but once we got Inside the tw inside the 18th minute, Chattanooga was just getting more aggressive, putting more pressure on the Flower City defense, and we haven't really seen a lot of fight back at the moment after this multi-goal lead. I mean, they they've they've had they've done they've done well at trying to answer back. I'll 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 admit that actually. However, though, just some. Much better defense, like we saw Fernandez earlier make a nice shot, but Reddington with a one-handed save, which could have been the goal to strike first for Flower City, I should add, or it was before the 18th minute. The fourth official has indicated that there will be two minutes. Two minutes of stoppage time, by the way. Should also add to that as well, uh, Arion Sobers of Sioux when he got the interception. Big chance to... Get that first goal for Flower City after Alec Reddington was off his target, but Frankie Martinez was just a huge hero in all of that. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Konyas Harkin gave it back to Ortiz. But Hernandez there, who has the latest goal for Chattanooga. Dees tried to get there and a throw in. Robertson on the throw in off of Taylor Gray. Konyas Harkin to Silvers of Sioux. Gotta hurry here. Same with Fernandez. Now we've got a foul on the pitch against Chattanooga, so Flower City has to back up. Just about 45 minutes away from halftime. Veracone. Ivandi. 
Working on the setup for Sober Zusu. Couldn't get there. Fernandez tried to get there off of the deflection. Still Flower City ball. They got to hurry here. Ten seconds until we hit two minutes. They may still play until Chattanooga gets it back. Ivandi, who moved it forward to Ben Watson. Looking for a big strike. Right in on the save, gets there. And that's halftime. It was actually Fernandez that took the shot on there, I believe. But at halftime, in the locker rooms, it's a nil three. Chattanooga, after 45 minutes, will step aside here for halftime. Stay with us on Rock Sports Network and 11 Sports. Is your lease expiring in the next six months? Have you made arrangements for your next vehicle to be available when it does expire? We all know what's going on with chip shortages. You can't find a ride. Bob Johnson says, let's get ahead of it. Order the exact vehicle you want to enjoy. When it arrives, it's got your name on it. We found out that some dealers were pricing cars way over the sticker price. That's not how we work. Bob Johnson has grown during the past few years, and with 24 dealerships, we now offer virtually every brand there is. While others are marking up over sticker, with the best deal in America, you'll save an additional $500 when you pre-order any new car, $1,000 with any truck or SUV. That's on top of our famous value pricing. So let's get ahead of it and order soon. Bob Johnson Auto Group, this is where the savings are. When I sprained my left knee, they did so much to help me at Lattimore Physical Therapy. With 20 locations throughout Monroe and Livingston County, pain relief is never more than minutes away. Same day appointments available. Most insurance accepted. Call 1-888-PT-ROCHS. Lattimore Physical Therapy. While we celebrate 140 years of serving our community, the kind of delicious joy that lasts a lifetime, we look forward to serving you for 140 more with hardworking, wholehearted, passionate people who will help shape new memories for generations to come. At John Betlam, nothing's more important than your comfort. So if you ever have any problems with your air conditioning, call us. Day or night, weekends, holidays, anytime, we're ready to help. We'll be there fast, and we repair carrier or any other brand heating and AC system. And if you ever need to replace your system, we'll help you save. If you need help with your AC, turn to the experts at John Betlam. Call 271 When I sprained my left knee, they did so much to help me at Lattimore Physical Therapy. With 20 locations throughout Monroe and Livingston County, pain relief is never more than minutes away. Same day appointments available. Most insurance accepted. Call 1-888-PT-ROCHS. Lattimore Physical Therapy. The Wings are home this weekend. Friday has a cap giveaway, fireworks, and an appearance by Rookie of the Year star Thomas Ian Nicholas. Saturday features an RPO concert and fireworks. Sunday features a beach towel giveaway, and kids can run the bases. For tickets, visit RedWingsBaseball.com.
The Wings are home this weekend. Friday has a cap giveaway, fireworks, and an appearance by Rookie of the Year star Thomas Ian Nicholas. Saturday features an RPO concert and fireworks. Sunday features a beach towel giveaway, and kids can run the bases. For tickets, visit Red Wings. Ba- if you're living with pain or recovering from surgery and don't know where to start, Lattimore Physical Therapy can help. The Lattimore Promise includes an individual diagnosis with a highly trained licensed physical therapist on your first visit, a personalized treatment plan, communication with your doctor, and a continued personal care plan. You're never more than minutes away from pain relief. Visit LattimorePT.com. Lattimore Physical Therapy. Whether it was dad letting you grill for the first time, or grandpa taking you out to a ball game, or even a summer picnic before the fireworks on the 4th of July, Zweigel's has created generations of memories that shape who we are and what our community has become. At John Betlam, nothing's more important than your comfort. So if you ever have any problems with your air conditioning, call us. Day or night, weekends, holidays, anytime, we're ready to help. We'll be there fast, and we repair carrier or any other brand heating and AC system. And if you ever need to replace your system, we'll help you save. If you need help with your AC, turn to the experts at John Betlam. Call 271 John Betlam Heating and Cooling. Is your lease expiring in the next six months? Have you made arrangements for your next vehicle to be available when it does expire? We all know what's going on with chip shortages. You can't find a ride. Bob Johnson says, let's get ahead of it. Order the exact vehicle you want to enjoy. When it arrives, it's got your name on it. We found out that some dealers were pricing cars way over the sticker price. That's not how we work. Bob Johnson has grown during the past few years, and with 24 dealerships, we now offer virtually every brand there is. While others are marking up over sticker, with the best deal in America, you'll save an additional $500 when you pre-order any new car, $1,000 with any truck or SUV. That's on top of our famous value pricing. So let's get ahead of it and order soon. Bob Johnson Auto Group. This is where the savings are. Bob Johnson's got your body. Welcome back to the Rochester Community Sports Complex here in Rochester. Halftime just about to finish, where it is currently nil three, Chattanooga on Flower City. Let's give you a recap on how this game is taking place. And once again, the guy that's been very key is Marcus Nagelstad. He's already got a, a brace today, two goals he has scored. First off in the 17th minute, off of a penalty kick, Nagelstad was able to score there. And then he was also able to score in the 33rd minute in regulation. It looked like he would have a hat trick in the 35th minute until a deflection was tipped in from Alex Hernandez, who gets his first goal of the season, which makes it a nil three ball game. But you gotta give credit to Flower City. They've taken some good shots, but some nice saves that have come from Alec Reddington. It's currently five to three in shots off target for Flower City. Two to one in corners for Flower City as well. They're the only ones with a yellow card. That yellow was issued against, excuse me, against Ben Watson. Five to three and fouls committed for Chattanooga. We do have two substitutions as both teams walk back onto the pitch. Both substitutions are for Flower City. So here are how they look. First off, Austin Krennic will be checking in for Ben Watson and then for Flower City Union it is Noah Kavanaugh in for Dre Dees.
So second half just about to begin here. It is Chattanooga's ball to begin half number two. And so we are just about set to go. While we're at it, we can let you know that NISAofficial.com, that's N-I-S-A-Official.com, is the league's website for all things in independent professional soccer. Learn more about what's coming up, see where your favorite team is in the table, and a whole lot more. So there you see the substitutions running on in, Kranich and Kavanaugh. Again, Kavanaugh coming in after transferring from Michigan Stars. So it's great to see him in a lilac uniform. Both teams giving their final messages. Flower City, do they have a comeback inside of them to tie this game back up? Well, the crowd is hyped at the Rochester Community Sports Complex still. Nobody has left the stands yet. So we're set to go. Alex Hernandez ready to kick this off. 45 down, 45 are up. And they waste no time. Brett Jones and Marcus Nagelstad were trying to get there. Hernandez off of him and we're wasting no time. Getting right off of the bat here. Ian Ciro looking for the first goal of the second half. Or does he set someone up? Has to split the double. He goes down inside the 18. No foul. Sunio Veracone trying to take it away. Back to Ivandi. Ortiz clears it away. Almost taken back by Nagelstad. DePoint versus Gray. DePoint had a great start in this first half. And we have a foul on the pitch. And that goes against the Union. So they'll get a free kick here. Free kick being set up by McGrath and Ciro. This was the same strategy they had in the first half during one of their prior indirectors. Ciro on the fake and the cross. Finish. Jones. Loose. Who's cleared it? The Union have cleared it away. But now Chattanooga has a chance to reset. Zero once again. Chips it. And caught by Ortiz. Konyas Harkin trying to sprint on it. Farrakhone. He had a deep strike against Chattanooga in the last home matchup in the middle of May. Noah Kavanaugh looks on the strike. Had it off. Four defenders trying to reset. Ainskoff, Veracone looking, trying to get around. Back to Noah Kavanaugh. Ivandi. Chipped up. Bermudez looking to clear it. And same with McGrath. Rocketed on up and... Stoppage in play.
And so, I believe they rolled offside on the pitch. So, we continue on with action. Both teams were just about even starts here in the first three minutes. Deflected off of Fernandez's foot. That was, that was a nice move. But however, though, it deflects right back into Reddington's hands. Bermuda's one to set it up. He got tripped up. No foul. Here comes Taylor Gray, but across the sideline. So Union throw in. Ivandi to throw it in. Off of McGrath. Couple of players warming up for Chattanooga. So now I don't see anything on the Flower City end for right now. Kranich down on the pitch. And a tough time for Sobers or Sue to keep it in bounds. That just went off of the top of his legs and just forced it out of bounds. Off of Krennic, but Nagelstad trying to get there instead. It's Saline, who gives it back to Kavanaugh, who's playing in the left mid position. Resets to the point. Headed off of Kavanaugh. Fernandez going for it. Same with Kavanaugh. His route, though, cut off. Kranich, playing in the right mid position. Tripped up by Ciro, trips him back. And this is against Kranich. Kranich doesn't like that call, trying to explain his case to Christian Centeno. And so a free kick from Chattanooga. And taking this is McGrath. Ivandi with some nice moves, but takes it back to the point. The defense wants to set this up. And they go for a chance. Offside, though, was Nagelstag. So goal kick coming from Flower City Union. Flower City Union on Rock Sports Network is brought to you by Lattimore Physical Therapy of North Charlotte, an outpatient physical therapy clinic treating a variety of health conditions and restoring optimal health, providing personal individualized care. Give them a call at 585-594-1688 or visit the location at 3238 Union Street next to the post office. Not there, visit any of their other 26 locations in the area. With that on the setup was Hernandez. Throw in. Gray trying to intercept it. And we've got a stalemate and a push from Taylor Gray. And the fans don't like it. Centeno giving Taylor Gray a warning. But a yellow card has been issued against Ivandi. Wow. So a free kick. Coming to Chattanooga. So in Dylan Ivandi's debut with Flower City Union at home, he gets carted up. Oh, 
We'll get the confirmation here in just a moment. So free kick for Taylor Gray. Gray and McGrath this time. Two defenders in place in Konios, Harkin, and Krennic. McGrath racing after it. Kicks it back. Sobers a Sue on the tackle. Back and forth we're tackling. Bermudez was the one that went down. Luckily for Bermudez, he's back up. As he tries to spin away from Kranich, but Konias Harkin on the interception, deflected off of Alex Hernandez. Kranich, another beautiful, oh, they called it against Kranich. And they card him for that. Wow. The fans don't like it at all. That looked absolutely clean. Once again, it was McGrath that went down. That's the third card today for Flower City. A lot of positive energy has been lost here. His turn from cheers to booze, and it's not against Flower City. They are calling out the officials, and I mean, Honestly, I agree with this crowd. That's all I'll say about that. Here's Bermudez. Defense looks to reset for Chattanooga, but that bad call with Flowers, with the fans not happy, that, that's got to fire up the players to try and get back in this. The fans are still on their side. Fernandez looking for goal number two. But Ortiz cuts the route off and leads to a goal kick. Fans, don't forget on Rock Sports Network to tune into RSN Trackside every Wednesday night on Rock Sports Network. Yours truly, Marty Sakala, alongside Kelvin LaPierre. We'll discuss the news and views of NASCAR and at local short tracks throughout the state. It's Western New York's exclusive motorsports show, Wednesday night on RSN, presented by Bob Johnson Auto Group. Ivani Deverico, nice play there. Push on Konias Harkin. Ciro with the interception. Can set up Taylor Gray. He can go for Nagelstad if he wants. That's who he is. And takes it back to Ciro. Thinks about the chip. Avoids the tackle of Konias Harkin. Ciro looking. He's got a set up. Looked for Nagelstad, but the pass wasn't there. Could not get there in front. And a goal kick to... Steven Ortiz. We do have a guest, by the way, set for next Wednesday for Trackside while we're at it. Stay tuned to the Trackside Facebook page around Monday. I'll let you know who it is. Zero looking for Nagelstad. Who wants a Hattie? Tries to go for big double pressure. One of the men that was there was sailing. As we play on. Gray against Kranich. Back to McGrath. Taking it far. Hernandez trying to get there as well. Nagelstag was looking for Gray to finish. And that's up and into the bleachers. So we'll see a corner kick come up for Chattanooga. Second corner today for Chattanooga FC and McGrath to set this up. Gus is starting to pick up here in the sports complex. As McGrath has the corner set. 
Headed off of Jones, and we've got a stoppage in play. I believe offside was issued against Chattanooga, and it is. Union wasting no time as we're in the 59th minute. Oh, intercepted by Nagelstad. Nope, he can't get there, though. Back to Ortiz. That was a close, unforced error for Flower City. Sobers a soup playing in midfield range. And I can't get to Silvers Asu. Throwing from Chattanooga. Frankie Martinez trying to set up his forwards. It was Robertson who had it. Kavanaugh on the clear. He's looking for Brett Jones. Could be a chance though for Bermudez. He's got range. Off his end. He's got a breakaway. Bermudez is rejected by Ainscoff. Nice job by the man wearing the captain's armband. As Bermudez who's playing left back today. Nearly made it a four goal game. That's out of the sideline off of, but it is Chattanooga's ball. Bermuda's on the throw in. Taylor Gray, Kranick. Let's see if he can clear that out. Nice one-on-one -on -one play, back to Bermudez. Gray trying to get there too. Headed off of Ivandi. And so Bermudez throwing it in. See if Ainscoff can clear this out. Konias Harkin. Sobers a Sioux around Bermudez. Ainscoff. Just too much of a push. Was looking for Konias Harkin. And back to Reddington. Reddington at this moment. Looking for his first clean sheet on the year. 1-0-0 on the season. Will be a nice moment for the 22-year-old keeper from Missouri. Kavanaugh throws it in. Stripling back to Reddington. No shots at this moment officially counted in this second half for the 11 stat sports stat line. It's still 5-4 to four off target in f favor of Flower City. When you combine them all, it is 6-5 Chattanooga. Flicked out of bounds by the left back in Bermudez. As we've got a substitution coming in. This is Jay Lee. As he comes in for Konyas Harkin. Only leaves the Union with two substitutions left and 30 minutes of soccer to go. Jay Lee got its first goal and assist of the year last time at home against Albion San Diego. It was the first equalizer of the contest to make it a 1-1 contest. So Chattanooga ball, looking to go 8-3-1 and one on the season. Would put them on a nine-game unbeaten streak on the year. Again, Chattanooga undefeated on the road. Only one loss, which came at Finley Stadium 
to Flower City. Kavanaugh dealt with some big pressure from Jones. Sailing with some more pressure. Here comes Jay Lee. Got to get around Stripling first and needs someone to set up. Breaks the ankles of one. Jay Lee with a weak shot. Fernandez almost there to finish. But a foul is issued. Chattanooga head coach Rod Underwood did not like the way his defense played there. They gave Jay Lee an open opportunity. So Bermudez back to Martinez. Nice executions, Taylor Gray trying to get around Ivandi. Needs some help though, takes it to the other side for Robertson. Here's a chip sailing off of him. And a throw in for Chattanooga. The defenders of the garden still out here. They've got the drums banging. Still into it. Big pressure. For Hernandez is dealing with some big pressure from Ainscoff. Sobers of Sioux puts down a Chattanooga FC player to their... Valley in a yellow card has been issued to Sobers of Sioux. That's the fifth one today. Down went McGrath in the 66th minute. And so McGrath back up, back up. A little bit slowly making sure he's all good, but Silvers of Sioux gets carted up. So just confirming here. We've had four yellow cards today against Flower City. Ortiz on the pickup. And moves it forward. Got to put some execution on. Lee to Veracone. Kranich is open. Taylor Gray got to deal with him. Fancy work from Kranich. Back to Fernandez. But cut off by Jones. Fernandez, can he get the pick? Gray on the clear to Marcus Nagelstad. Again, looking for this hat trick. He's got a brace today. Jones is there. Onside play being set up. Nagelstad too strong. Once again, they leave Nagelstad open. It was Robertson that set the play up. Leads to a goal kick. Fans, if you've ever wanted to own a professional club, now is your chance. The union aims to be a club for the community and embrace diversity and aim to reflect back the faces and voices of our region. Flower City is open to anyone who wants to be an owner and have their voice heard. Learn more at flowercityunion.com forward slash fan dash ownership. And another call on the play. Nagelstad. Gets called for, and it's Union Ball, and the fans liked that. I think if I recall correctly, that is 
That may be the second foul today in the second half for Chattanooga that they've committed. Throw in for Chris Bermudez. Zalen, nice job from him to keep it in bounds as Farrakhone sets up Silver's a Sioux. Needs to set the cross up. Use Lee as a pick and roll for a moment. Krennic trying to get around a couple and a foul just beyond the 18. McGrath commits it and a free kick comes for the Union. And everyone comes out to argue about this. There's some arguing and then we got some wall blocking. Nagelstad, Gray, and I want to say Jones. Note that Cyril, that all there is the wall to set this up. This is an indirect free kick. Doing this in case Veracone sets up Kavanaugh here. Flower City looking to get on the board. I've not had a goal in the last two games. You don't want to go three in a row on that. We've got a whistle blown. And we're ready. Veracone fake. Kavanaugh needs some help. Headed from the point. Cleared. Lee can reset. And he does. That's one up off the point, though. Nagelstad running away with it. Nice move to get around. Lucas Fernandez. Martinez to set it up. Verico nearly got an interception there. Here comes Ciro, around Ivandi, has a couple to beat. But he'll need some help though, big pressure from Sailing. Here comes Hernandez, he's got a goal today, offside. Brett Jones was way out in front. Which leads to Union Ball and they waste no time. Just inside the 71st minute, under 20 minutes out from stoppage. Clean play from Fernandez. Looks to set up Jay Lee. Reddington gets there. Defense faced some pressure from Sobert's Asu and Lee. Robertson was there, got to Jones. Barracone's got to get going. He has one behind him. Oh, a big push from Brett Jones. Let's Barracone up. Got one player getting ready to come in for Chattanooga from the looks of it. That goes across the line for a corner kick. Third corner today for Flower City. And once again, they look to try and get on the board. Veracone setting up the corner. Deep enough for Jay Lee. Reddington gets there. Still a couple of players 
getting warmed up. Now it's on both sides all around. Chattanooga still with all five of their subs left. Only two remain for Flower City Union. Jones back to zero. And now a couple of setups. Bermudez wants Gray off the quick touch as he gets there. McGrath moving it back, big pressure from Ivandi. Here comes Hernandez. That moves across for a corner. Third corner for Chattanooga today. And we'll check on who takes this. Ciro at a slow pace. Everyone just in, everyone facing big pressure in Ortiz's box. Just grounded up, Nagelstad back to Ciro, may put the fake on. Skyde, who gets there, headed off from behind off of Jay Lee. Strip lane goes down, Jay Lee goes down, bodies go flying all around. It's against the Union again. And we got players not happy all around. And we got a stoppage, a much needed stoppage for both sides. So we'll step aside as we're in the 76th minute. Still, no three, Chattanooga. If you're living with pain or recovering from surgery and don't know where to start, Lattimore Physical Therapy can help. The Lattimore Promise includes an individual diagnosis with a highly trained licensed physical therapist on your first visit, a personalized treatment plan, communication with your doctor, and a continued personal care plan. You're never more than minutes away from pain relief. Visit LattimorePT.com. Lattimore. Physical therapy. Whether it was dad letting you grill for the first time, or grandpa taking you out to a ball game, or even a summer picnic before the fireworks on the 4th of July, Swigels has created generations of memories that shape who we are and what our community has. The Wings are home this weekend. Friday has a cap giveaway, fireworks, and an appearance by Rookie of the Year star Thomas Ian Nicholas. Saturday features an RPO concert and fireworks. Sunday features a beach towel giveaway, and kids can run the bases. For tickets, visit redwingsbaseball.com. Tune into Rock Sports Network and 11 Sports. Next Sunday, a week from tomorrow, Flower City has their NISA Independent Cup Northeast Region matchup against an opponent to be determined. It'll be a good one, that's for sure. So, anyway, you won't want to miss out on that. Kickoff time for that game, by the way, for those wondering, is set at 5 p.m. So just coming off of our second hydration break, if you have just joined us, nil three, two goals from Marcus Nagelstad today. He's got 12 on the season, a goal from Alex Hernandez with his first on the year. No goals in this second half, but this has been... A game that the fans have not really liked, for sure. And not about how they're doing. But anyway, looking at the stats right now, 8-5 to five in favor of Chattanooga. We did have a substitution while on break. Greg Stratton comes on in, and out goes Chris Bermudez. Free kick, meanwhile, coming up here for Chattanooga FC.
on the fake. Zero gets it to, to McGrath once again. Big strike, nice save. Ortiz gets there once again. Gray back to Nagelstad. Looking for zero. That's Greg Stratton who just checked in. Number three getting past Silvers of Sioux or going ba back on Silvers of Sioux. So four subs left for Flower City Union. Here comes an opportunity once again. Taylor Gray gets there off of Hernandez. Looks for the cross to get to Nagelstad. I think Nagelstad, the way he put his hands up, knew. Ah, oh, man, I had a hat trick there. Vericone pumps the brakes. Ainskoff to Kavanaugh. Lee gets pushed up. Kavanaugh trying to keep it. Lee still trying to get there. Back and forth they go. Robertson there is there instead. And so Reddington is there. Strat into zero. Taylor Gray knew for a moment he was offside, but backed it up. He could have a breakaway. Ivondi pumping the brakes. Open is Hernandez. Nagelstad wants a Hattie. Gets around one. Could he get around two? Looks for Gray instead. He's looking for his first today. Spinning, spinning around. And somehow that gets cleared away. Farrakhan back to Ainscoff. Back to Vericone again. Kranich to Fernandez. Let's see if he can get to Silvers or soon. Takes it back to him instead. And back to Ainscoff. Jay, excuse me, Kavanaugh with it now. Looks for a chip. Nobody there to close the back door. Maybe except for Kranich, but it's wide right. Got to get that shot up a lot better because it could have been a 1-3 a game. Here's a substitution. One left now for Flower City. Colin Muller in for Alex Ainscoff. And we'll check and see who is wearing the captain's armband. It's Fernandez now with it. Setting in in the 81st minute for Flower City Union. Number 12, Colin Muller in for number three, Alex Ainscoff. So under 10 minutes to go from stoppage time. We are in the 82nd minute. Here comes Taylor Gray. Nearly had a breakaway around both Muller and Ivondi. Fernandez is onside. Could have a chance. Looks for Jay Lee. He gets there with possession. No. Rebound though from Vericone. What a save. Again from Reddington. It was Stripling that had the first stop on the play, then went back to Vericone. But now our chance to make it a nil four game. Off of the point. Hernandez trying to get there as well. That was Robertson who was looking for the score. Here comes Silvers to Sue. But instead he gets cut off by Robertson again. Pardon me, not Robertson, Jones. McGrath to set this up.
Seven minutes from stoppage time. Barracone on the interception. And he could have a chance. Sets up a, just a small corner attempt. So that got cleared away once again. That was Martinez that was on the clear. Martinez wants to set up Taylor Gray, who is on side. He's got a breakaway to make it nil four. He's got it. Fifth goal of the season for Taylor Gray, and that pretty much is the dagger. Here it is. Just had one man to beat. Flex the chip. Easy money. And the Chattanooga is celebrating. At the moment, we'll have a substitution. So stand by. Taylor Gray with his fifth goal on the year. Goal by Chattanooga and he was tied for six, then goals coming on in with four. And so we'll have a substitution here. Stand by. We'll have two for Chattanooga. They know they've got this in the back, so they'll bring in their two other subs. And so Taylor Gray will check out of here with his curtain call, as does Ian Ciro. Nagelstad and Jones stay in the game. I think they're trying to see what they can do here with five minutes to go. And almost in, right from the kickoff. Goal kick coming up here. They left the player wide open for a chance to do it at the 50. So the substitutions we have here. Checking in is Roddy Green and Juan Hernandez. Ivandi trying to get to Silver's or Sue, headed from Stripling. So the check ins while we are at it. Interception, hang on. Fernandez got a chance. That was blocked off of Stripling. And a push against Flower City. Three minutes to go here till stoppage time. Trying to back up with it for the defense. Juan Hernandez is out there now. Also there was Greg Stratton. Hernandez to Juan Hernandez to Alex Hernandez, I should say. Defense has to back up. Robertson was the one that had to back up and give it back to Reddington. Just about two minutes from stoppage time. 
Should have about, if I were to guess, probably about three minutes of stoppage. Here comes Roddy Green and down goes Kranick. And no fouls on the play. Sobers a Sue to Sailing. Kavanaugh moving it back to Colin Muller, who checked in a couple of minutes ago. And so Robertson cleared it away back to McGrath. Nagelstad was there off the quick touch, too. Juan Hernandez. Robertson trying to set up on the play. McGrath then skied up from DePoint, and a corner kick is coming up here. About to get stoppage time here in just a moment from the looks of it on the board before they put it up. Looks like three minutes. Corner ready from Brett Jones. Pardon me, that was Juan Hernandez. Nagelstad's trying to get there past Muller. Has to back it up with Juan Hernandez. Three minutes of stoppage time. Wide right from Greg Stratton, who was looking for his second goal of the season. DePoint nearly got there, but intercepted by Hernandez and scores. Pardon me, that's rather Roddy Green that scores it. His first goal of the year, it's no five. So Roddy Green's first goal of the season. There you see it. Just left Ortiz. The point did not have a good time covering it. It's nil five. As of right now, this ties their game against Maryland with the worst loss of the season. The Maryland matchup was on April 2nd. So this win for Chattanooga will extend their lead, put them up 27 points. Flower City staying put at 11. Staying last in the Eastern table. They were tied for fourth coming in with Syracuse, but we'll leave them still officially at the bottom of the Eastern table. Not the bottom overall, Valley United came in with four points. Corner kick coming from Fernandez. Just want to see a finish come out right. Barracone can't get there. Kranick. Fernandez. And another corner kick. 30 seconds out until full time. Doesn't work there, and it's a goal kick this time, and this should likely do it here. Big win for Chattanooga as they'll improve to 8-3-1. Flower City dropping to 3-2-13.
There it is. Nope. Thought that was the full time whistle. We'll keep play going, and this should be full time now. Greg Stratton to throw this in. Here comes Roddy Green once again. Save this time from Ortiz. There it is. Nil five victory for Chattanooga. Again, Chattanooga goes to eight, three, and one. Flower City three, two, and thirteen. Next matchup for both teams are their independent cup matchups in their region. Flower City Union Northeast, Chattanooga Southeast. Flower City's kickoff is a week.